Now, if you're like most people, you take your photos with your smartphone. But once upon a time, you used to have a dedicated camera that would create film that you would get developed, that you would put into a photo album. So what are you gonna do with all those old photo album pictures or your baby pictures or your family pictures from like the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and maybe even 90s? Well, today we're gonna look at a gadget that can take those old photos and digitize them up for the today's digital world. This is from Epson, it's a scanner from Epson. It's the Epson Perfection V550. Now, unlike other scanners or the all-in-one printers that come with the built-in scanner, this one is made for photos. It can do up to 6400 DPI, so it gets really good photos. And another great thing about it is it can also restore old photos. So if you got scratches or dust marks, it's got this digital eye software that works in conjunction with the software on your computer to restore those photos and make them look better, which is really important for those black and white photos that you have out there of your great grandparents or grandparents. Now, if you look at it, it's got a long base. In terms of length, it's about the size of my entire arm with my fingers. The width is about, about a foot wide, and it can take a variety of different types of photos. So my recommendation is you take those old photo albums, especially around the holiday time when the family gets together, you tell everyone, hey, come over and bring your photo albums. Then you can all sit around and look at all the old photos. Then you get the young kids to hook up a laptop to this and then have them archive and digitize those photos. A great thing about this scanner is that you could upload those photos directly to online sites like Picasa and other photo streaming and photo storage sites online, even like Facebook. So this is great for those throwback Thursdays when you want to show pictures, baby pictures of people when they were young. Another great thing about it is it comes with these accessories that allow you to not only do photos, but you can scan old film and slides. Now this is, if you were around the 70s, you know what I'm talking about. But you would have these films and slides and you can take those and digitize them and put them up online. From there, you can collect everything. My recommendation is use something like Google Drive or Google Photos to store those. You're gonna have to archive all those old photo albums because over time they will deteriorate and those photos will start to fade away. So you're gonna have to get something like a dedicated photo scanner like this one, the Epson Perfection V550.